Okay, so welcome to your pick a card reading. We have pile one, pile two, and pile three. Now you can either pause the video and focus on the cards and use your intuition to select which pile and I have a message waiting for you. Okay, if you picked pile number one, we had the, I don't really know how to pronounce these crystals, but we have the Ajoiti crystal. Now, this is a beautiful cosmic vibration, multi-dimensional crystal. So if you chose this pile, you're a very compassionate being. And the um, crystal that's recommended for you is about being compassionate. So I feel like you've got a lot of compassion and empathy for others. So you kind of take on other people's problems. You take on their burdens. You feel their pain as if it's your own. So this crystal will help you to release other people's burdens, to release their problems, to release, you know, taking on other people's um, karma, all these type of things are coming through. So I feel like you are a bit of a healer and an empath and you kind of are super compassionate. So you kind of take on other people's energy. And I feel like the um, ajoity, it's, it's about spiritual revelation and it draws out karmic wounds so this crystal will be helpful to you because you're a being of infinite love and compassion and i feel like it would help you to release your toxic emotions that you've taken on from other people um, and it will replace that with forgiveness compassion and serenity so you've been through something quite traumatic and this crystal will help heal that and it'll, it's time for you to put down those burdens of your past because you're a being of light. And I feel like the universe wants you to resolve those internal conflicts and conflicts with others and just come into a place of compassion and forgiveness and forgive those who wounded you. Um, it's time to either give someone a second chance and honor your promises and just find the best solution in this situation. So... I feel like you're someone that's very compassionate. So you might be in charity work. You might be in spiritual work. You might be a volunteer. You might be a doctor, a nurse. However, that applies to your situation. That's what's coming through. So the frequency of this crystal is exceptionally high. So you're a very high vibrational individual. So very compassionate being. So that is the Ajoiti might have to look that one up message for you so we're gonna um tap into all the other cards now and we're gonna find out what your spirit animal is so i'm just gonna get all the cards ready for you okay so i'm getting um a strong message already of what has transpired with this energy So I feel like your spirit animal is the spirit animal of the snow leopard because I feel that um, it's time to burn away the past. It's coming through very strongly, but let's start. So I feel like you're in the spirit animal of the snow leopard in the current moment. So your spirit animal is a snow leopard and this is a watching energy. And as you can see on this particular particular card you've got all these spirit guides so you're quite multi-dimensional i feel like you're like a star seed or an empath or an earth angel of some sort and you've got um, a connection to spirit that's multi-dimensional and these are all your spirit guides your spirit orbs so you're a very rare and beautiful soul look at the eyes of this snow leopard so there's also a lot of purity as well because we've got the white tiger it's white which is an a symbol of purity you're very rare very very rare so you're very rare masculine or feminine energy and you're kind of in the energy of the watcher right now i feel like you're watching people and observing them because i think you've been through a lot in your life i feel like you've got an amazing sense of humor you make people laugh you're this beautiful um, beacon of light so we've got the goddess uzumi which is all about humor so you're very warm and compassionate and funny and beautiful energy there so you're this beautiful rare individual but i feel like you're actually currently going through some trauma healing so you've been emotionally triggered because you've got trauma trapped inside of your body and i feel like you were feeling a little bit 
hung up on this situation. We've got, um, there is a solution for every problem. So I feel like you, you were hung up on the situ situation, trying to find the solution because I think you were getting emotionally triggered quite easily. And this is because you had trauma trapped inside your body that needed to be faced, that needed to be dealt with, that needed to be healed. So I feel like you've been very emotionally guarded as of late, but you're this beautiful, warm, compassionate, loving snow leopard. And I just feel like you've been in the energy of resistance because you had your heart broken and you're still healing from all of that. And we've got the spirit animal of the raccoon. So I feel like there's um, an element of shame. So you might have a soul of a sacral shock or a blockage there. Um, I think it's time to burn away the past, really let go of these burdens. So I feel like you're like a phoenix rising right now. And this really flew across the room when I was shuffling the cards. So it's a very strong message about burning away the past and turning and transmuting that energy and healing yourself. Um, there's a lot of shame. There might be some insecurities or self-consciousness as well. But your guidance here is, I release all blame and turn within to seek the truth. So you've been ashamed of yourself and you've been blaming yourself and feeling guilty. And that's what this raccoon spirit animal is coming through. So I just feel like you're kind of observing and sitting back and watching at life because there's an element here of resisting connecting with people. But the universe is saying, I release all blame and turn within to seek the truth. So... I affirm that I am willing to release the causes and patterns in my consciousness that are creating any negative conditions in my life. So I think there's an element here that you're blaming yourself for something um, and it wasn't your fault. So it's time to let go of that. It's time to stop being stuck and hung up on this. Um, I feel like, you know, it's time to bl burn away this, this thought in your mind and your consciousness Start to get back to the essence of who you truly are. We've got this gorgeous sense of humor here. It's time to laugh again. It's time to be happy. Um, release all of the guilt and all the blame and just go within and listen to your intuition. You know, because you're this beautifully gifted snow leopard, that um, it's not your fault, whatever happened here. It's not your fault. You're a beautiful, compassionate person. And it's time now to be resilient and burn away the past. And um, I'm going to take this over to the extended reading now. We're going to find out a little bit more on this situation. We're going to find out, you know, exactly what happened here, um, how you can burn away the past, what your emotional triggers are and what it is you're resisting. You might be resisting, um, yeah, resisting things that could bring in healing. But we're going to take it over to the extended reading. We're going to find out any chakras that are blocked, anything that's blocking you from your manifestations and anything else that we, we might be able to get from the universe that's useful in your situation. But I hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you'd like to join me further, all the links are in the description box below to my Patreon page or Vimeo. And you can gain access to the extended readings over there. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care. Fire signs. This is a fire reading. So this is all about um, the fire energy, which is coming through, through strongly here with the humor card. I feel like you're just a beautiful, fiery person that has a gorgeous sense of humor. And you could also be a um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or you could be in the element of fire because we're... We're like a phoenix rising and we're burning away the past. So this is a fire element reading. Um, yeah, that's all the messages that are coming through. So we're in the element of fire. We're burning away the past. All right. I hope that resonates with you. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye, fire signs. Okay. Welcome, pile two, to your message. So if you chose the eye of the storm crystal... Your spirit animal is the snake. Now, the snake to me is all about shedding layers of our former self and also being very creative. This card here says creation. So I feel like you're shedding layers of your former self and you're quite emotionally triggered in your life right now. And the triggering is kind of like a transformation. It's unraveling and it's allowing you to take back your power. I feel like you're a wild and free spirit. You have like this beautiful power within you that um, sparks kind of fly through you. You're like fireworks. 
and I feel like we have translucent I think you've been doing some shadow work because it says love the darkness so I think you've been doing some shadow work that causes you to um <laughs> shed layers of your former self now I haven't um spoken about your crystal yet sorry I was like distracted by something so um, these particular crystals in the green are, I feel, related to the heart chakra, but they're multidimensional crystals and they're in the interactive vibration um, component of this crystal deck. And it says that the, the interactive vibration cards encompass a range of vibrations that help to bridge the physical and subtle energy bodies and integrate them with the environment and the multi-dimensions that surround us to bring about well-being on all levels. So these are really dynamic and energy healing tools and they're really useful for transformation. So this, this crystal is going to help you increase your transformation journey while you're in the eye of the storm. That's why it's called the eye of the storm. So um, this is about a safe haven. So... The Eye of the Storm Crystal is a safe haven for your soul. It has a calm center no matter what occurs. So if you if you can find this crystal, the Eye of the Storm, during like a, a turmoil, it will help you have peace. Um, and we say, if I follow my inner wisdom, I'm at peace with my own being. So this will help you integrate peace when you're going through a bit of a storm in your soul. And I think um, this is a life support system during stressful times or serious illness. So hold on to it during challenges so you can keep things in perspective. So you don't go into catastrophic thinking. You don't really overthink and go into your shadow side. Um, this particular card is about adaptability, but we'll get into that. I just feel like you're going through a bit of a storm in your soul. So you may be allowing the challenges and trauma of life to push you off center Stress and pressure are a major cause of your dis-ease. You could be focusing too closely on one aspect to the detriment of others. And you need to look at the wider picture is what they're kind of saying. And it's time for you to relax and just let go of your stress. Staying mindful rather than watchful. Excess adrenaline is coming through your body because you're really like in, in the storm. And they're saying it adversely affects your Im immune system. So... Um, you just need to meditate quietly to rejuvenate your DNA and you can stay centered and calm no matter what storm rages around you. So I just feel like um, this will help you walk safe, safely through the storm that you're currently going through. I just forgot to get a spirit animal card, so we're going to get another one. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Yeah, you're very wise. You've got this inner wisdom, which is the representation of the owl. And then you've got sovereignty. So I just feel like your life has been in a bit of a turmoil. You're in the middle of the storm right now. And it's time to find that inner peace and listen to um, your soul while you're going through the storm. Um, it's about being adaptable. So it's finding the calm within the chaos. Yeah, calm within the chaos is a real like strong one. And I feel that it's, yeah, it's the calm within the chaos because, yeah, you're really going through it at the moment. This is like a storm here. And it's just finding the light within this storm that you're going through. But you are a sovereign being. You're very strong. You're a divine feminine. You can get through this. And you need to just harness that owl energy that spirit animal of the owl that you have so you could, you've got a 360 degree view of the situation and you really not just need to go within find that inner wisdom and knowing that all will be well once you get out of this darkness and you can see in the dark you can transmute this energy and it's learning to love the chaos and the darkness as it's your greatest teacher and it's about being adaptable so we've got the goddess card here about adaptability But there's a lot of emotional triggers that are coming up for you for, for healing. And I think that that's been the hardest part on your journey is learning to love the triggers, learning to love the um, shedding 
the transformation and being adaptable in the middle of the chaos and the storm. And it says, I follow my inner wisdom. I am at peace with my own being. I completely trust the intelligence within me to guide me to the right path. The universe supports me in every positive way. So it's really trusting that the universe has your back. Your gut instincts are really um, triggered right now. It's really trusting that you are this wise, beautiful owl. It might be quite triggering, might be quite intense, and you might be quite going through it really, really intensely in your life right now. And it's there's some deep-rooted um, things that are coming up for healing, but you've really got to just trust the journey and trust the process is what I'm getting. And right now you're like this shake, snake, sorry, I don't know why I said shake. Sh your world's been shaken up is what I got, just channeled that. Um, but I feel like you're like a snake sh shedding layers of your former self, like a snake skin. And that's just feeling really chaotic for you. And you're in the middle of the storm, a bit of a storm happening in your life. And you're learning to adapt to the ever-changing conditions of this storm. It's probably... It's probably been like, you know, you're like, one day it's pouring rain, the next day it's lightning, the next day it's hail. And you're like, is this storm ever going to end? And it's about adapting. So, you know, the first day it was like pouring rain and you were getting drenched and then you adapted to that. And then there was hail and now everything's like hitting you from all directions. It's just about adapting and finding those, um, yeah, those shields, those, those um, protections and shedding um all the things that no longer serve you that's the vibe i'm getting so i'm going to take that over to the extended rating now and we're going to find out a little bit more on your journey um here of like what else we can do to heal and you know, what else wants to come through for you but yeah that's your message here pile two i hope that resonated take care all the information is in the description box below if you'd like to get a little bit more um all my messages um, for the extended readings on Vimeo and Patreon. Take care. Okay, part three. We have the Rainbow Mayanite Crystal. is the one that you guys had come up. And your spirit animal is the seahorse. And it's about inequality. Equality, sorry. So we're going to get into the Rainbow Mayanite Crystal. And why that was relevant for you. The... Um, the rainbow mayanite is about the cosmic um, multi-dimensional frequency so you're multi-dimensional and i feel like you operate at an exceedingly high resonance way beyond the physicality of earth so it's the highest dimensions of all so you're a realm of star being spirit and unity consciousness and you assist spiritual well-being channeling higher consciousness to earth so these crystals will help you if you're a reader or a channeler and they're exceptionally high vibrationals and they work at the level of the spirit and the soul so that's really beautiful now we're going to find out the rainbow myonite it's actually the note crystal known as the rainbow bridge so it's the bridge between dimensions so the rainbow myonite bridges this world and the rest of creation. It heals unconditionally and assists the shift to a new level of consciousness. So you need to understand that you're a leader. And when you raise your frequency and your vibration, the whole collective consciousness benefits. So you're de-energizing old patterns and releasing karmic encrustations and toxic dross from your etheric body. So this crystal will assist this. Um, so you need to go within to find your rainbow and raise your consciousness to build new supportive structures at every level. So this is about really expanding your consciousness and using this energy of this crystal to begin to be able to channel these higher frequency energies and raise that vibration. And it's about recognizing how your soul is maneuvering you onto your true pathway. So, um detrimental situations in life actually offer soul gifts so you need to re-examine some projects and let go of any that aren't of your highest good or good for others and try and see things from a new perspective and it's about always speaking the truth no matter what the cost but also being mindful and tactful about your approach 
Um, and you've also got a natural healing ability and this will this crystal will help you to focus on it and use it wisely. So this is about letting go and attuning to you to your highest possible outcome. So that's that crystal. And then we've got here the spirit animal of the seahorse. So I feel like you've been in an unfair situation with a masculine energy. I feel like you haven't treated someone fairly or you're the one that's been treated unfairly. I feel like you are in a connection here where there was love. And I feel like you just, you were... You were definitely a pure soul that was treated badly. I'm getting it from the feminine perspective. And I feel like there was a lot of feelings here. We have water. So I feel like you loved somebody. I'm trying to get the card. You fell in love. We've got water. And we have Mama Kocha. So you have a beautiful open heart, a beautiful open heart chakra. And you fell in love and had feelings for masculine energy who was wearing a bit of a false mask. He might've been in his ego. He might've been in his pride. And I feel like you're in the spirit animal of the seahorse because it's a really unbalanced situation. It's not equal give and take. And I feel like you are this beautiful, loving, divine feminine energy and you're in your feelings. You had a lot of love to give this person, but you weren't receiving it back. But I feel like you've liberated yourself. We've got liberation and the Raleigh card. So I feel like you have liberated yourself from overgiving. There's been an unbalanced energy here. And I feel like you reached a place of acceptance that you had to let this connection go. And you were listening to your intuition. But I do want you to know here with Aphrodite that this was love. It was romantic love. You were loved by this masculine energy. Although he didn't reciprocate or treat you fairly, there was love in this connection. But I feel like you have accepted. You have to let him go. Um, and it says, whatever you choose will be correct. So there's no right or wrong decision in love. And they're saying, you know, whatever you choose will be correct for you. And it says, honor your mystical and creative force. So I think they're saying like, you definitely loved this masculine energy, but he didn't treat you fairly. He didn't honor you for the beautiful divine feminine energy that you are. He didn't see your value. So there was an element here of you not valuing yourself. So I do feel like there will be an opportunity for you to maybe reconcile with this masculine and whatever you choose, just do that with love and listen to your intuition. Um, it will be guiding you every step of the way, but it's about accepting all of yourself. I accept all of myself. The work I do on myself is not a goal. It is a process, a lifetime process. I choose to enjoy the process. So it's about acceptance of yourself and knowing that you are beautiful and lovable as you are. And I am precious and I cherish who I am. I am worthy of my own love. I don't have to earn love any more than I have to earn the right to breathe. So you are a precious and beautiful soul who deserves to be valued and cherished. You don't have to give anything to anyone to be lovable. And they're saying, I'm worthy of my own love. I don't have to earn love. So there was an element here where you were overgiving because you felt like you needed to earn someone's affection or love. You don't have to earn love any more than you have to have to earn a right to breathe. So you deserve love just by breathing. And you are precious and you need to cherish who you are because I think you were giving and giving to this masculine and it was an unbalanced, like, yeah, receptive energy. He, he wasn't giving anything back because he had you there giving and giving and giving and he didn't have to do anything to earn you. So it was unequal and unfair in the end. Um... Oh, I didn't get the other, excuse me, the other spirit animal. Let's find out what the other spirit animal is. I think it was exhausting. I just got a yawn. Yeah, so this person might have been a bit of a snake in your life. I think they were quite deceptive. And I think you're closing out a cycle here or a pattern um, with the snake's energy. And this is the alchemical symbol for Earth. So I think there's been a pattern in your life where you've accepted less than you deserve. And you've overgiven in connections. And this was a karmic lesson for you to close that cycle out. Turn your back on this masculine and this past. 
and honor yourself. You may have had feelings, there may have been love there, but it's time for you to liberate yourself because we have water, liberation and romantic love. And the seahorse is a spirit animal in the element of water. So there was deep connection here, a lot of feelings, but there's a pattern for you to follow your heart too much and not honor yourself. So it's time to release that pattern is what they're kind of saying. Listen to your intuition and accept that you had to let go and detach. All right, so I'm going to take this over to the extender now and see what else we can get on this situation for you. I hope that resonated and all the information is in the description box below. If you want to get a little bit more, just click, click on Vimeo or Patreon in the description box. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye, Pile 3.